Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chow Ben Sung. Welcome back to our Healthy Eyes, Healthy Life series. Are you aware that there's a silent epidemic of myopia? The World Health Organization projected that half of the world's population will be myopic by 2050. The number of people with myopia has been steadily increasing over the last decade. Today, Singapore is the capital of myopia and more than 80% of young adults are myopic. Myopia is also called short-sightedness and nearsightedness. Someone who is myopic cannot see distant objects clearly, while the near vision may still be good. In a normal eye, light rays enter the eye through the cornea, the clear structure in the front of the eye. The cornea bends the light rays and they are further focused by the lens onto the retina, the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. In myopia, the light entering the eye is focused in front of the retina rather than on the retina, resulting in blurry vision. This happens because either the cornea is too curved, the lens is too thick, or the eyeball is too long. The majority of childhood myopia occurs because the eyeball grows too long. Children with myopia will have difficulty seeing the whiteboard in school and will need spectacles to see clearly. The exact cause of myopia is unknown, but there is evidence that both genetic and environmental factors are at play. If one or both parents are myopic, their children will also have a higher risk of developing myopia. Children who spend a lot of time reading, playing games on their mobile devices or doing other intense near-visual work indoors are also more likely to develop myopia. In some children, myopia can progress very rapidly, resulting in a worsening of vision in just a few months. This can affect the child's performance both at school and in sports. Myopia progression also increases the risk of getting eye diseases. This is called pathological myopia. Pathological myopia increases the risk of cataracts and glaucoma. It also increases the risk of retinal diseases. When the eyeball is longer than normal, the retina is stretched over a much larger area. This thinner retina is more susceptible to getting holes and tears. Fluid can enter through these tears and lift the retina off, causing a retinal detachment. The central part of the retina, called the macula, is also stretched very thin in a long myopic eye. This thin macula is susceptible to degeneration or premature aging, a condition called myopic macular degeneration. This affects the fine central vision, which is important for reading and driving. Hence, a person with high myopia should have regular eye examinations. The lengthening of the eyeball associated with increasing myopia is an irreversible condition. It is important to control myopia progression early so to prevent the eye diseases associated with pathological myopia. I hope that you enjoyed this video about myopia. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more about how to prevent and control myopia and about other important eye conditions. Till then, I wish you healthy eyes and a healthy life.